The Cash EOS team have announced the latest release of their distribution with Cash EOS July 2025 release. And this is the fifth release of the year. And for those unfamiliar, Cash EOS is an Arch-based distribution with kernel optimizations, making it a great option for people who are in a situation where they want maximum performance. Now, it's not for everyone. It is an Arch-based distribution. It's not like beginner-friendly necessarily, but it is uh, very good for options for people who have the latest and greatest hardware. So if you have something that just came out and you want to have an up-to-date, as, as up-to-date as possible for support, then Cash EOS is one that you should probably check out. What's new in the latest release of Cache EOS July 2025 is you can now choose your shell on the installation. So when you install your system, you can choose which shell between three options. You have Fish, ZSH, and Bash. Fish is the default option, but so if you don't pick anything, that's what you're going to get. But you can choose to use the ZSH option or Bash if you prefer. And to fix some issues with sometimes the process is being killed too early, they've decided to remove the integration with systemd umd. Now for the Plasma installations of Cache EOS, they're going to be defaulting to Wayland now with this release. The X11 session will automatically be installed on systems that don't support Wayland that well. For example, legacy NVIDIA. So X11 is still going to be there, but by default, it will be Wayland, unless it is using some kind of older NVIDIA hardware. They've also added FWUPD, or FWUPD, which is the firmware updater tool, uh, for the GNOME edition and the Plasma edition. The last release of Cache EOS, they actually dropped support for their own custom browser, the Cache browser. And this release, they have added a new configuration settings package so that you can have the configuration they did have with the Cache browser with the regular Firefox install. But there's also an option for those who want a an pre-compiled optimized version of Firefox with a Firefox Pure. They've also added some bonus performance optimizations such as Anti-Lag 2 for Mesa Git and Proton Cache OS. Also, games that support FSR 3.1 will be automatically upgraded to FSR 4 now, which is really cool. And better Wayland support for the Proton Cache OS is also available. There's also an update for this release of the Handheld Edition, which will add support for the Legion Go. Cache OS is a really cool distribution, and there's a lot of benefits to it. But again, it's not necessarily beginner friendly. It's much more beginner friendly than Arch is by default. But at the same time, it's still not something I would necessarily recommend. But if you have a, a system that has a lot of newer hardware and you need to have a more up-to-date system to get that support, then Cache OS is definitely something to check out. So if you're interested, you'll find links in the show notes.